A couple tips to make your goose flapper run more effectively is at times it may get uh, sticky in the cam here where you can notice it when it's running that it's, it's not running as smoothly as you'd like. So a simple fix is if you pull this off and literally take a screwdriver and just back these two screws off just a eighth or quarter of a turn and that'll loosen this up just a little bit in here and make it run much more smoothly. The next item we've, is we might have some people talking about heads going on real hard. If that happens to you, just clean up if there's any extra flocking around here from the manufacturing process. Clean that off, put a little dish soap around the edge, pop it back on, and it should go on very smoothly for you. Another piece that we get calls on is how to program the remote to the decoy. Inside the goose flapper, you'll find your remote receiver. Simply turn the goose on, hold the black button down on the receiver, and then hold the remote button down, and you'll see the lights flash on the receiver, and now it's programmed. Also on the goose flapper is a rheostat where you can control the speed of the wings from fast to slow. When inside the goose flapper, you'll also notice a fuse holder. If the decoy is not turning on, unscrew this fuse holder and check the fuse to make sure it's intact. Those tips should help your goose flapper run much more effectively this season.